hello guys and uh, thank you for watching this video i hope that you are going to enjoy it and i'm also hoping that everybody is doing fun and you are all safe today's video we're going to be talking about the new flag controller which is the ftech g4 from ftech of course and i'm going to try to answer some of the basic questions you may have about this flag controller but i thought it'd be a good idea to start this video by showing you one of the features of this flag controller and i'm going to show you uh Will Pete work on this flag controller? I have my transmitter ready to go, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my quad. All right, and a little beep is just to let you know that it's ready to go. I'm not using a beeper on this quad, I'm using just the motor beep. One thing I like to pay your attention to is on the Vista. Uh, if you look at it there is no light on and that is the way wheel pit work on this flag controller when you plug in your lapo your vtx will stay off you literally have to turn it on yourself just on your switch on your transmitter now you got the little red light on and eventually the red light gonna turn to green light and this is actually the only flag controller that I know of that does this to where you literally have to turn on your VTX yourself once you plug in your lapo. And of course you can turn it off and on, off and on as many times as you want to. And that is one of the features about the new Fairtech G4. There is plenty more features on this flag controller. Alright guys, so we're going to cover some of the features throughout the video. There is actually a lot of features on the G4. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to show you the process that I went through in order to test the flag controller. I'm going to be using the flag controller and the Fairtech ESC. So what I pretty much did is I took one of my old quad. I had this quad for over a year. This quad actually started its life as a flat one drone. Then it went become a beta flat drone. I actually posted a video of this quad when i first put it together and i'll put a link for for that video if you want to check it out but what i pretty much did is i took all the gut out i mean i took the beta flight flight controller and the esc and i replaced them with a fatec and fatec esc and the g4 this is the esc i'm going to be using on this squad uh, this is the fatec 45 amp esc it is a 30 by 30 esc uh, it is rated for 6S and of course it does have this shot 2400. You don't need to run this ESC. You can actually run the G4 with a BLLES or a BLLE32. But the reason I'm running this ESC is first, I have the same ESC on another one of my Fairtech build. And I had a build for over a year. I have multiple crash on the build and the ESC is still going pretty strong. So I really do like this ESC. And second, since Fairtech is a kids flag controller, to me, it just makes more sense to run it on this shot 2400. There is actually another protocol, if, uh, a Fairtech protocol that you can run with kids, which is the one wire. I tried that one a couple of times, but I couldn't really tell the difference between the one wire and the D-Shot 2400. So I just stick with D-Shot 2400. And what you are looking at is the top of the ESC. This is the side that go up. And the easiest way to tell which side go up is to just look for the plus and negative sign. The plus and negative sign go up and the other side, of course, go down. The one thing I do not like about this ESC is that it does not come with a XT60 connector. That is not really a big issue because I believe if you used to building your own drone or your own quad, you should have a couple of XT60 sitting around. The cool thing about this ESC is that it allows you to run up to five low ESR capacitor and I will take full advantage of that. I have my other one set up with five ES low ESR capacitor and I don't know, maybe that's one of the reasons it's still going strong. I haven't burned anything out of it yet. And I'm also going to be using the spike absorber. Uh, this is just a recommendation from Fedtech. You actually don't have to use it. But I always use one on pretty much all my drone now. It's just an extra protection from an ESC, keeping keeping you from burning your ESC. Because after all, those things are not cheap. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I have everything set up on this ESC. I use four small low ESR capacitor, And those are the Rubicon 50 volt 220 microfarads. And those are used on each of the ESCs. 
and for the main lead which is the battery lead i use a bigger low esr capacitor uh, this one still a 50 volt low esr capacitor and it is rated at 470 microfarad i do not use the low esr capacitor that come with the fairtech esc I just never use it. I have a different capacitor that I use than I trust, and that's the one I use. And the big thing about those low ESR capacitor is when you put them in, you gotta make sure that you do not set them up in reverse polarity because if you do that, you run the risk of burning your ESC. So just make sure that your polarity are right on your low ESR capacitor. And this is the end result of my ESC setup. I have everything soldered on into the ESC motors and low ESR capacitor. I have my main. ESR capacitor on the side and it is connected to the main battery lead using those small low wires. I believe this is more likely the best setup you can have on your FETEC ESC. I have full protection on this ESC and I pretty much have about 15 gram of low ESR capacitor on the build just for the ESC. Now that I'm done showing you how I set up my FETEC ESC, I'm gonna go ahead and jump back to the flight controller itself. The G4 has a lot of features. Some of them are just your common feature found on most of the other flight controller in the market. But some of them are actually kind of unique in a sense that they are not very common. I uh, already cover uh, wheel pits. Another one that I think pretty interesting on this flight controller is the way they got the BEC setup. You actually have two BEC on this flight controller. You have your 5 volt BEC that is used to power on your receiver. And you also have a switchable BEC which allow you to switch between 5 and 16 volt. And that one is used to power your VTX. Interesting thing about that BEC is that you can actually select which voltage you want uh, straight from the keys configurator so that is very nice there is no soldering needed to switch between 5 and 16 volt another cool aspect of this flat controller is that it does give you the option to either solder your peripheral directly on the flat controller or use JST connector there is plenty of JST connector on this flat controller there is actually two for your ESCs for one ESCs so if you're planning on building an octocopter, you can actually directly connect it to 4-in-1 ESC. That should make for a pretty nice clean build. The flat controller does come with three JST cable, uh, two 8-pin cable and one 6-pin cable. Now I'm not going to show you exactly how I have everything wired up on this flat controller for this build. But I recommend you to check up the manual if you have any question about how to wire this flat controller. The manual is readily available on Google. It is a pretty nice manual. It does show you all the diagram on how to wire everything you need on this flat controller. So it's very nice. Uh, this is a Fairtech OSD and this is an external OSD. And if you ever use the Fatec F7 and you fly analog, in order to get KISS OED, you have to use one of those little boards. Now with the Fatec G4, the OSD is already integrated. So if you fly analog, you don't need to have an external OSD. That also should save you 30 bucks. I cannot believe this little thing is $30. Was $30. Now for people that do use single ESCs, I'm pretty sure there's still some people that do it and actually never use a single ESCs. The flat controller also acts as a PCB board. Only thing you need to do is just connect your ESCs directly into the flat controller. Now you do have those four little LED lights on top and those LED lights are fully programmable. Uh, you just have to go to the keys configurator. It does give you an option to pick which color you want. There is actually multiple colors that you can pick from. And of course you can make your own custom color if you like to. It also gives you the uh, option to change the brightness of those LEDs so, and they do get pretty bright. I uh, believe I got mine set up at 40% and it's already bright enough. I'm not really an LED guys, but if you are into LEDs, that should be a pretty easy way to set up your LEDs. And of course, you, can, you, you don't have to only use those four LEDs. There is connection for you to add more LEDs on this flat controller. The G4 processor is a replacement of the F4 processor. So as far as clock speed goes, it is very comparable to an F4 
for processor but the main advantage of the g4 compared to other processor in obi right now is that it allows you to run your peripheral at a much faster speed and peripheral are everything that you can connect to the flag controller that will be your receiver your gps module or even your leds i'm not really sure what advantage you get at running peripheral much faster but the one thing i really want to test it if it's actually running those peripheral at much faster speed so what i did is that i connected a bn 220 gps module on the flare controller and i want to see if i'll be able to get a much faster satellite lock on this specific build compared to my other build on average i'm getting about five to seven satellites on this drone within about 45 seconds which is much faster than on any of my other drone i got a couple drone that it would take me maybe sometime more than two minutes to get about four satellites but on the g4 flare controller and i tested that multiple times on average i'm getting a satellite log i'm getting about five to six satellites within 45 seconds of me powering on the drone so in conclusion the fedtech g4 is a pretty good flight controller it does come with some pretty cool feature and i kind of cover some of them in this video compared to his big brother the fedtech f7 it definitely has a lot more feature it definitely has a lot more option and in my opinion it is slightly a little more easy to set up and wire everything on it just because you do have a very nice manual as far as performance goes as far as flight goes he flies just at the f7 i didn't see any major difference as far as flight characters goes if you have a kiss you just fly like any other keys if you made it all the way to the end of the video thank you for watching this video i hope that you did enjoy it and i will be seeing you on the next one